Hi guys, um, welcome back. Um, it's Kathleen. So um, today I'm going to be working on a makeup tutorial, obviously. Um, and it's going to be like a very pink, nice, girly um, type of look. So please subscribe and um, share with others. And I'll see you guys in my next video that will be a nail tutorial. Like it should be. <laughs> so um yeah, stick around and watch, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Alright, so let's get started. So you're going to go in with this eyeshadow brush, and you're going to go in with the It's Judy Time palette that I love with that reddish-brownish matte color. Um, and then you are going to place that all over your crease. Um, you know, make sure that it's really in there and um you know you spread out and i love the judy time palette oh my gosh i love her so yeah and then um once you have that you're gonna take your blending brush and you are going to blend that out you don't want any type of harsh lines um so you really want to get in there and blend very well and then yeah and once you have that done, you're going to go in with the BH Cosmetic um, Tropical Palette, the matte palette. And you're going to go in with that pink um, eyeshadow color. And then you're just going to put that all over your lid with an, um, like a flat eyeshadow brush. Um, this BH palette is really cool because it brings 88 different colors and it's new. So um, I'm trying it out here. Um, so yeah, I just keep doing that. And... Um, yeah, sorry about the lighting. Like, I just, when I was doing this, I was like, whoa, the lighting is really, really bad. Um, but yeah, again, I'm still trying to figure out this camera stuff. Um, so yeah, so once you have that done, you are going to um, get your blending brush. And then you are going to blend that out just to, um, you know, um, combine it with the transition color, the um, brown reddish color, um, just to smooth things out. Okay, so just do that, and then you're going to take the same palette, and then you're going to get this pink, um, it's a darker pink, it's on the sh on the same row, um, I believe, as the other pink, all the way at the bottom, and you are going to take um, that color, and then you're going to place that color only on your outer corner of the eye to make it like a kind of, you know, cool smoky eye, um, so yeah, so it'll give it that effect, so you know, put that there, and then you have to make sure that you blend it out, blend it out, because then you're going to look like you got punched if you don't do it. So once you blend it out, you know, smooth it out, and yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go back in with the pink um, color that we used first, um, just to like, uh, you know, add a little bit more and make it pop a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to, again, blend it out, and then we'll work from there. Okay, then you're going to take the Judy Time palette again, and you're going to use the um, that color on the top um, left corner, the, like, the, yeah, that color. <laughs> you're going to use that on your, um, underneath your brow bone um, to highlight things. And then I kind of use that color also to clean around, you know, the edges, um, you know, where I just think it looks kind of weird. Okay, then you are going to take a smaller brush, um, kind of like a pencil brush, and then you are going to take the pink color again, and then you're going to put it on your lower lash line. Um, yeah, so you're going to first take that pink color, and then you're going to go um, blend it out, and then you're going to take the darker pink color that we use on our outer corner, and we're going to place that also on our bottom, bottom lash line. And then we are going to blend it out really well. Make sure that you take your time, um, you know, with a, you know, a pencil brush. And it'll give you the, it'll just make things look much better. Then I'm going to go in with the Naked palette. Um, and I'm going to take that Virgin color. And I'm just going to place that color on my... Um, you know, the inner corner of my eyes, that just really brightens your eyes up and it makes you look awake. I'm gonna take, so now I'm going to take the Ulta, uh, it's like a quick eyeliner, um, pencil eyeliner. It's very smooth and I just did that. And then I went in um, with the pencil brush 
um, you know, just to refresh things around the crease, um, just to darken things up a bit. And then I took my all-time favorite Almay. Um, it's like a one-coat um, mascara. Oh my gosh, it works awesome. I love it. It gets every lash, and it's just very, very nice. And it, it like, you know, gives you volume, and oh my gosh, it's just the best. So once I just add that, I'm going to go in my with my eyelash curler, and then I'm going to curl my lashes. Um, yeah, I'm doing it after the mascara, but this just gives, oh my gosh, it makes my lashes look so big. Well, not so big, but to me, it makes them look really big, and I just love doing this, even though if it's wrong, whatever. Um, so yeah, so you're going to do that. You're going to clear your lashes, and then... You're going to um, take the Anastasia Lash Genius. Um, I talked about this mascara, um, top coat mascara in my last makeup tutorial. And yeah, I still have it. I love this mascara, this top coat mascara. It really helps my lashes stay the way I, you know, I left them. And it just really gives it like that final touch, just like when you put a top coat on your nails. So here are my eyelashes afterwards. I love them. And then um, you're going to take the Ulta lipstick. Um, it's number 241. And then um, it's kind of like a matte lip lipstick. Um, well, lip gloss, no lipstick. <laughs> um, and it's it's kind of like my natural lip color. Um, so I love that. It took me a while to find a natural lip color for me. Then I'll be taking a tissue paper and just um, patting it on there just to, um, you know, make it a little bit more matte. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you guys subscribe and share. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. So I'll see you later. Bye.